Back in November 23, my work travels took me to the iconic city of Las Vegas. But before work began, I secured myself four days of holiday and I used that to go see a different icon, the Grand Canyon. Alright, that McDonald's coffee was genuinely horrendous. So we've gone and got a proper coffee. From our good old Starbies. Road trip in the US is something I've always dreamt of doing, and getting to do so, even just for a few days, was an absolute dream come true. Dancing in the moonlight. So I hopped in my rented Tacoma and headed out of Las Vegas to the first stop, Hoover Dam. It just keeps going down. Yeah. It just keeps. Obviously, I can't see the bottom yet. It just keeps going. The last time. I tell you what, I don't. I don't really get vertigo or stage or scared of heights or anything. But looking down there. Yeah, that's a. That's a no for me. Damn. We on top of Hoover Dam. Look at that. That's mad how high the water was, because that's like almost the height of the dam itself, which is crazy. But, oh, this is awesome. This is really awesome. This is like, it blows my mind, like stuff like this, like the engineering feat of this. That someone had to like, obviously it wasn't one person, I'm sure it was a team of people, to create this. But to look at like this massive mountain range and canyon and water and river coming through it and go, we're going to block that off to provide water to all the surrounding cities and stuff. And then to pull it off is mind-boggling to me. My visit to Hoover Dam is a key example of why I love road trips so much, because I have no idea how long I was wandering around here. The whole point of a road trip for me is that you just lose all sense of time. There's like, you just go, you just go over the flow, you drive, you explore, you stop, you look at viewpoints. There's no time restraints or commitments on a road trip. And I think that's why, as I've said before, they're good for the soul, and this is why. So like, you look at maps, and it's like, all right, that's Vegas to there, that's where I'm heading. An hour, maybe two hours? Nah. Four hours. Four hours! I've also found a playlist, My Life is a Movie, made for me by Spotify. Let's get that going. After hitting the open road again, it was literally 10 minutes until I stopped again. Wow! Okay, <laughs> I can actually look sideways. There's a very scenic view. There's a scenic view parking point, uh, which, Jesus. So we're gonna stop into that. There's a dog. Gonna bet that dog. Gonna bet that dog. Is that uh, the same space? No, that is just more straight in we go. All right. First things first. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. That is a 70 to 180 millimeter. That guy's got his drone out. That's a great idea. That is, that is gold. That is fucking gold. You know what, since I was a kid, I've always wanted to, I had this like dream of um, road tripping Route 66 on a motorbike. Just, oh. I continued the four hour drive from Hoover Dam to the Grand Canyon, 
sung far too many songs to myself in the car. Took in the incredible views and landscapes around me, and even stopped a few times to just sit and appreciate it. Come on. Wagon. I have just seen a sign that there's a dark sky area, which didn't even occur to me, but that is absolutely perfect. Well, the petrol station, need that tomorrow. Absolutely perfect, because that means I can do some star trails. And it's dead clear skies set right now. So hopefully it stays like that overnight, just like completely clear. And yeah, we can, we can do some star trails at the Grand Canyon. That'd be sick. Hello. Hi there, so today is a free day, so there is no charge. Amazing. Uh, Veterans Day, so welcome okay. to the Grand Canyon. Perfect. It's good to go. Okay, is it, um, so I was, you can, there's uh, park ups you can stay in, it's in here. Um, so there park? are some uh, different um, lodges you can always check out. But let's That's fun. Low tonight is going to be 19 degrees. So not going to be oh, that comfortable. Okay. No, okay, fair enough. So you may want to find, find somewhere to, to actually be. Ah! 19 degrees Fahrenheit, which was minus 7, apparently, is the cold this is going to hit tonight. That might be a bit too cold to stay in the car. So what I've actually done is last night I stayed in a hotel in Vegas, which uh, work has booked me into, and I knew I was going to come to this road trip, so I um, put the privacy on the door so that no one would come in while I'm gone, and I've borrowed, key word here, I'm returning it, I have borrowed the duvet <laughs> by putting it in my suitcase. You can take the backpacker out of the budget, but you can't take the budget out of the backpacker, right? Um, so my plan was to sleep in the car. Well, basically the plan was pull up somewhere, turn the heater on, like warm the car up for the night. And then when I go to bed, I'll turn the car off, turn the heater off, wrap myself up in the duvet. I've also got trackies and a hoodie and a jacket, my, 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 um, over, my over jacket thing and then go to sleep. But minus seven, that's that's a lot. I was expecting like five to three degrees Celsius. Minus seven degrees Celsius is very cold. First things first is I just want to get to the viewpoint and go see the Grand Canyon. That is priority number one. And then, because I mean, that'll only take me half an hour, realistically. And then we'll figure out what the f hell we're going to do tonight. Uh, can I stay in this car park? I doubt I can sleep in this car park. There's probably rules against that. It does have to be said, though, that it is noticeably colder than earlier on today. It has dropped a bit. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so big. I haven't got words for that. That's... That's insane. Like, I've seen photos of it, but like, until you see that in person, you can't comprehend the scale of that. The lighting right there as well, on the ridges. genuinely cannot get over how vast that is. Like, yes, it's called the Grand Canyon, and I've seen photos, it's a massive thing. But that, like when you see that in person, it's just mad. Tomorrow, maybe for sunrise, I wanna be over there. Cause that's cool as hell.
But as normal, this is a trip that Luke is massively underprepared for. As is my style, really, isn't it? But <laughs> I had no idea how it would be this cold. Las Vegas was like five degrees at night, so I was like, yeah, only five degrees. I didn't even think that it was going to get colder out here. But the only sense I'm actually prepared for this in is the fact that I've got the duvet and the t-shirt I've got, or one of the t-shirts I've got, is my gym one, so I can go hiking in that. <laughs> but with views like that, who cares? Who cares? We're here for a good time, not a long time, eh? Literally, because we're only here for like 36 hours. <laughs> It's actually updated now to the actual location. It's currently 10 degrees. The coldest it's meant to get is 2 degrees at 7 a.m. and then the sun rises and it goes up to 5 degrees within the hour. So I'm going to stay in the car for sure. The issue I now have is I've just gone into the visitor center and asked, you can't park in this car park. You, okay, you can park in the car park, but you're not allowed to stay in your vehicle. I was like, even if it's a car? And he was like, yeah. I was like, well, they get a check? And he's like, yeah, they come around and check. Which is fair. We're gonna go get dinner, and then we're gonna come back here because I wanna get some star trails. And then we'll go stay somewhere. I bought some, <laughs> I bought some Grand Canyon socks. <laughs> because Grand Canyon, why not? <laughs> so. We've gone and got some Grand Canyon socks to keep my ankles warm. <laughs> All right, so there's probably, there's unlikely there's going to be anything else to film tonight because I'm going to be doing star trails, but it's going to be so dark. I'm not going to be able to film anything. You're not going to be able to see that. So I'll put some photos on the screen now so you can see what we got up to with the star trails. And unless anything eventful happens, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Okay. Sun is rising. That was not a very good night's sleep, I'm not gonna lie. But let's go watch the sun, sunrise. So I'm currently filming a time lapse on the camera of, or photographing a time lapse of the sun rising. When it gets to a certain point, when like this is all, because this is all a lot more lit on the iPhone than it is on the camera right now, I'm gonna wander down to here. I'm going along here. Oh, where's the path? There's the path. Out to there and getting a shot of me over there from here. Alright, breakfast is scoffed, coffee secured, everything's in the bag. Let's go to the Southern Rim Trail around the Grand Canyon. Look at that. 
That is just... I, I, I don't actually have words for how incredible this is. Like, that is so dramatic and vast. Like, you, I said this yesterday, but you see photos of the Grand Canyon and everyone says, like, it's big and it's like... This won't do it justice until you see this in person. It's just a different level. Honestly, if you want to do anything in life and you're waiting for people and they're just not, like, oh, we'll do it next year, oh, I don't know about that, just, just do it. If you want to do it, just do it. Look at this. Look at this. Honestly, I love this planet so much. It's a pretty grand canyon. I'm sorry. All right, Southern Ridge Walk or Rim Walk done. Not the whole thing, they're wrong, but as far as I wanted to go. We're now going to start heading over to Desert View because I just went to the coffee shop to get some lunch, which is in here. And they said that although it's a half an hour drive, they're like, it will take you two hours because there is so many places to stop. Apparently the drive there is gorgeous. So we're going to get going. photo I want. This camera's set up here. We're going to be where the guy sat down. I'm going to go sit over there with a 70mm twine using 70mm I think. Yeah, 70mm. Should we try a bit more? I could go a bit more compressed to really give out depth but I think I'm going to stick to 70. Here's the result. This is the biggest drop off I've seen yet at the Grand Canyon. Ooh. Don't want to fall down there. Just relaxing. The woman in the gift shop wasn't joking. There's a lot of stops on this just half hour drive where you just want to, you just pull over and you're like, oh my God, I need to get out and go here. So current mission. For the last few stops, I keep saying, all right, next, I'm just now, I'm just gonna look for a viewpoint that I can park at, sit in the back of the truck and have my lunch. But, they keep being viewpoints where I can't park out that, but I still want to get out and have a look. Oh. Oh. Oh.
king of the world. Look at that. Jesus. This is insanity. Oh, I'm actually really hungry now, so we're actually gonna go find him somewhere to sit and have lunch because I'm starving. I'm just filming myself eating right now. Uh, but what are, you, what are you trying to get with that camera? Uh, so I, um, I make YouTube videos. Oh, do you really? Yeah, so I look like vlogs of my travels and stuff. Oh cool, where are you so, from? London. London, huh? Yeah. Alright. So the, the last bit I just said about I'm going to try and find a viewpoint to sit and have lunch. So now I'm getting a quick shot of me. And some guy shows up and interrupts you. Absolutely fine, more than happy to do. Yeah. stop for the day and probably the Grand Canyon Road Trip. It's a desert view. It's the Colorado River coming straight through the canyon which then goes through. Everything I've seen today that, that river goes through the canyon but I haven't really been able to see it until like clearly now. The sun is setting. I'm waiting, looking forward to this lighting up orange. What an incredible place. So this is my, how I'm spending my evening now. I'm wait for the sun to set, hopefully it all lights up orange like it did yesterday. It does look like that's gonna cast a shadow across the river, but hopefully all this stuff here gets lit up nice and orange. <sighs> Insane. What a, what a few days, couple days. Literally left yesterday, insane. What a way to end the last few days. Oh, what? Currently in my car, I'm about to go to bed. I have left my camera here. That's my attempt at hiding it. Uh, shooting a um, star time lapse out the window. And it's basically, it's just gonna keep going until it runs out of battery. So here's the result. <sighs> Good night. Literally, just as I was considering heading off for the day, we spotted some sketchy sands. I actually met up with a couple of boys I've met through uh, Instagram. Uh, it turns out they were doing a road trip as well. We got the Grand Canyon the same day, so we met up last night. So we spent the night here, woke up at the sunrise, and I was getting ready to like, sort of think about leaving, taking the view one more time. And then we spotted a way down. <laughs> so I've just left my camera over on the viewpoint over there and just got some photos of us down there. 
which look like this, which are sick. And then we're gonna climb back down. Look at that. Okay, I need to get off this rock because this is a bit too, too thin for my liking, but look at that. <laughs> that is mental. I can't get over this. I cannot get over this. I literally don't think there's a better place to end this video. Look at that. I haven't even got words. Just this has been an awesome couple of days. This road trip has been insane. Just... Look at that. <laughs>